at one month of age, you can see this little guy. This is the small boy, by the way. He's in a small box just to keep him from pestering his mother too much. And he sees his mom. And look at him trying to climb out. His brother is uh, freely exploring around here, walking around like crazy. Yeah, buddy. But these puppies are already accustomed to human contact. So just give him a little stroke on the back and a little prodding and he'll turn around and come around to me. There's a good boy. There's a good boy. He seems to know that his little brother is cooped up in a little box by himself. But that doesn't really bother him an awful lot. You take a look at that little guy's head. He is getting better looking by the day. He's really a good looking boy. Amazing that he was kind of in a lot of difficulty when he was first born. And his sister. And you'll see there's a little food scattered on the floor. But when it's on the floor, mom gets first crack at it. But she's actually eating already. As you can see, if they have the opportunity to nurse, they're going to try to nurse. Otherwise, they like to play with each other. And brother and sister are having a wonderful little licking match there. And I think the little guy really wants to get out to join them. I think before this little guy flies over the cuckoo's nest here, we should probably let him play with his siblings. Come here, buddy. Oops. There's that boy. So, now the little guy is out of the little box and says hello to his brother and to his sister and he is all of a sudden part of the action once again. And let's see if we can get a puppy's eye view of all this. Now the camera is right down there with the puppies. And of course the little girl is immediately interested and said, what is that object? Trying to get near the lens. If you uh, look closely at her left eye, which would be the one on your right, you might notice that she's a little squinty and she has had um, probably a scratch on the eye and it's a little bit ulcerated. So she is being treated and medicated for that. And she's improving tremendously. But I don't know if she's more interested in my camera, which is the new kid on the block, or her brother. If she knows him, then she can put her paw in his face and have a little wrestling match with him. But then back to the camera. No, you can't eat my lens. Go away. Don't eat my lens. Thank you very much. No. There you go. Okay, now the little brother is back there trying to again get in the act. Maybe he's kind of an outcast. I'm not sure. But if we just move her a little bit away from the camera, you can see big brother right next to her. And they, way there in the background is the little brother. And he's still trying to kind of make his way into the group. But he's also interested in those toys, which is really remarkable at this age. Let's see if we can get them a little bit more involved with the toy. We'll reach in and dangle it in front of the little guy. Oh, yeah, there he goes. He is trying to play with it. The other two are still trying to play with each other. Oh, and she just flipped him over, and she's back at the camera lens once again. Let's move you away. Thank you. But they really, they all enjoy that little toy, and that's a very big step in their growth development when they take an interest in those other objects that are around. But now it's the boy's turn to kind of sniff out the camera and see what's going on and see what this intruder is. The toy is just lying there, but he is interested in the camera. So I hope you enjoyed the puppy's eye view. I better rescue my camera before it's too late. So it's time to go back to the people's eye view and look down on those puppies. You see, they have actually a good bit of freedom during the day when they're supervised and people are able to keep an eye on what they're doing. They can walk around in the room. 
uh, while their pen over here is still whoop, pristine and unused. But that's where they spend an awful lot of their time. I mentioned before that the girl has been eating already. You'll notice that she even can eat kibble. Not soaked. I usually, for young puppies, I will usually soak the kibble to soften it. And I'll even start out with a moose-type food before that. But she's diving right into the kibble. She is the first one to do that. And up until today, she's actually been the only one to do that. But now, as you can see, the boy is eating kibble as well. If you put your finger in their mouth, you would see that their teeth are quite well developed already, and they can handle that just fine. So I hope you enjoyed this little report on the puppies. They're one month old now, and we will continue to report on them as time goes by. So stay tuned for more puppy reports. <laughs>